Hey Gemini, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of May. Um, I'm doing this during the mid-May, okay? I hope this would give you insights with regards to your love connections. Okay, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, the tarot decks, are all in the description box below. Alright, so let's go ahead and do your reading, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini in love? Again, this is about your love connections. I'll be having, I'll be reading two sides of the coin here. You and your person. So you pick your side, okay? What do we have for Gemini in love? Gemini in love. The Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, Strength, and the Two of Wands. Okay, the Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. <laughs> the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so undeniably so, Gemini, this is a connection where um, you're dealing with someone, Gemini, who has a very strong effect on you. You know, the connection, I mean. It's something that you may, you know, you may have tried to let go at some point um, due to a lot of confusion, a lot of um, assumptions in a general sense. You may have a lot of assumptions in the past due to this person's actions as well as lack of actions on their part. You may have put up a lot of assumptions that this person do not love you or this person is going out with other people, yada, yada, yada. And that gives instability. Yeah? But I feel that coming into this reading, coming into this reading, Gemini, you're being a Gemini. You're really um, trying to tap into your logical sense here on, you know, one thing to really communicate or if you are already communicating with this person, for most of you, I feel that you do, you are now, um, this is you just putting it out there. What do you really need to say? Truthfully, you're being straightforward here. You're being honest. You're being clear with your intention. And if there are, if there is a lack of clarity on your person's side, this is you wanting to get clarity. <laughs> yeah. When I say that this connection has a very um, kind of effect on you, primarily because you see a potential for this connection to be like a, a long-term connection for you, a long-term partnership, a long-term companionship. Yeah. And it feels like it's very difficult or there's been a lot of challenges, a lot of waiting, you know. Um, to get to a rather more uh, successful or stable front here, stable uh, foundation for both of you. But I see that there is an energy here that you're wanting to work together. There is an energy here. Like I said, you could be communicating with one another right now. You mostly in, in telling, okay, what do you really want in this connection? Are you telling this person what do you really want? What do you really expect? You are, you are the one who is more straightforward. Well, your person, they do want to work things out with you, but this is a person who works or, or do action on things in a very careful and a meticulous way. So 
you may be on the um, active mode right now and it may feel like the person is very passive. It's not because they don't want this, but this is someone who's really thinking carefully. This time around, how do I get into working things out with Gemini so that it could lead to a firm foundation for this connection? Okay? Your patience has been tested here. Your... Um, your capability of quieting down the noise in your head, especially at night when you're alone and you're overthinking, that's also been tested here. Yeah, And even so, you've been doing a lot of analysis. And now <laughs> you've been doing a lot of thinking about this connection. Like I said, I feel that there's possibly a lot of assumptions that has been made here or a lot of, um, you know, conclusion that you may have made based on this person's actions towards you based on their inconsistencies you know if a person is is inconsistent hence they're not interested that sort of thing i feel that and that is also very mind-boggling for you and quieting your mind down yeah was truly a test for you and even so, for most of the Gemini that I am connecting with, even if you are already going through that paralysis analysis kind of thing in your mind, you still can stop and then you would still want to know more. <laughs> you still want to know more. That, that, that just means, no, it's not bad at all, but you know, sometimes for our mental health, it's good to quiet our mind at some point. Have a rest. Take some rest. But the ultimate goal, why I said it's it's not bad, because your ultimate goal here is to just know the truth. You just want to know, what what is this exactly? Is there still a way for us to work things out here? Yeah? Or can you please come forward and clarify <laughs> all this confusion that's been caused in this connection? Clarify all these assumptions that I have. That's just what you want. Yeah? But you're dealing with someone who is pretty... Um, meticulous or shall I say slow in, in moving towards or in, in doing things towards this connection. It could also be that they have um, some decisions to make as to whether um, should they move towards this connection or do they have other things that they have in mind to do. You know, this is someone who is... Um, at the crossroads right now, they see potential in this connection, but at the same time, somebody also who is looking out. You know? Not not that they are looking out for other options, but just somebody who is still not um, feeling very much settled in one place. Somebody who may not be ready just yet to commit. Not necessarily a non-committal person, but somebody at this point in their life is not ready to commit just yet. Mm -hmm. That's what I see. You're pretty much heartbroken with this person. A lot of things that this, you know, this person's passiveness or this person's um, lack of clarity in their action in, um, or the lack of decision on their part has truly hurt you in whatever way that is. Mm -hmm. And it feels like this connection has been rocky for a while. Sometimes you're on, sometimes things are well, and then all of a sudden there's a quiet moment and you don't exactly know whether the other person is breathing still or not. You know, that, that kind of energy. There's an in and out kind of energy which can be tiring, so try to avoid that. <laughs> try to avoid that, yeah? Your person too, like I said, they are pretty slow because they are meticulously planning their steps in whatever means or in whatever aspect in their life. It could be in their life. It could also be in their own, in, in love life, as well as their other aspects in their life. It could be in their job, in their personal matters. But at the same time, you're dealing with someone who just choose to pick their battle for now, which is a very um, uh, strong stance, especially if a person is, is dealing with a lot of things. So in order for someone not to be overwhelmed emotionally or even physically with manual labor or things like that, this is someone who choose 
to, or they just choose the battle to fight or to work on for now. Managing the way they cope with things, yeah. And um, I see Gemini that um, if you have a lot of, um, if you are confused here in terms of what this connection is all about, um, it's it's good. I think the uh, the way I see here is that someone, and I feel it's you, someone needs to really know first what do you really want from this connection. Yeah, once you are clear with that, speak about it, communicate it with this person so that on your side there's no more confusion. And once you talk things out, the confusion that this person gives to you will also be clarified. But at least you need to be more um, clear with what you intend this connection to be. And try not to depend the decision on this person's actions. I feel there is a need here for you to decide on what you truly want to invest or what you want to work on in this connection. What can you give? What can you not give? What are your limitations? And what do you want? What do you want to happen? And then communicate it. For those of you who have already communicated that to this person, you would expect a straight and honest communication from this person again. Because once you start speaking your truth, you will exactly get that. You know, you're dealing with someone who is a match for you, who can also communicate, who can also think logically, who can also be straightforward with their intention. Yeah. It's just a matter of where does this confusion lie, you know? So know what you want first. Know what you want for this connection. What do you want to work on? and talk to your person because definitely you will get exactly what you what you want here and that is clarity and that is clarity yes and also one more thing this person still has um, you know is still very passionate towards you they want to pursue this and I feel that that communication that I feel is coming towards you would be somebody who would be clear with their intentions towards you and would be clear of what they truly want yeah, to do in this connection. What do they want to work on? Yeah. So I feel that this person is currently planning and will be communicating towards you with what truly they want to invest, where do they see this connection forward, and plus you know, that they are still in it to win it. That's what I see. That's what I see. Although your your patience here has been tested with all the waiting time, you got hurt, but the struggle is not over. The fight still continues, but it's a good fight. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that you're going to fight, but it's more like it's a good push. Yeah. But honesty and communication is key here before you can even um, continue to work things and move things forward to build a firm foundation. Okay? I hope this gives you insights, and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know in the comment section how this resonates with you. If you like it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell and um, so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos as well. If you need further readings, I do have them suggested on the screen, and um, you can also check my channel. I have um, Gemini Love Playlist, tons of readings in there that you might enjoy. All right, if this is your report ways, thank you for stopping by.